Why chocolate melts in your mouth? A sweet journey through history. Ever wondered why chocolate melts so perfectly in your mouth? That silky, smooth sensation ISNT. Just delicious. It has the result of thousands of years of science, culture, and sweet evil. Our story begins over 3,000 years ago, deep in the rainforests of ancient Mesoamerica, where the Maya and Aztec civilizations treated cacao as sacred. They didn't eat it. They drank it. A bitter, frothy drink made from ground cacao beans, chile, and water. Nothing like the sweet bars we love today. The Aztecs even believed cacao was a divine gift from the god Quetzalcoatl, calling it food of the gods. It was used in rituals, as currency, and even as medicine. Imagine paying taxes with chocolate beans. Then came the 16th century, and with it, European explorers. When cacao reached Spain, sugar and milk were added for the first time. Suddenly, a bitter ritual drink became a royal delicacy, a status symbol for the elite. But here's where the melting magic began. In the 1800s, scientists discovered how to separate cocoa butter from cocoa solids, allowing chocolatiers to make smooth, solid bars. And in 1879, a Swiss chocolatier named Rodolf Lindt invented the conking machine, which blended chocolate so smoothly that it would melt at just below human body temperature. Around 37 degrees Celsius noventiocho, if that's right, chocolate literally melts at the temperature of your mouth. It's a perfect harmony of chemistry and pleasure. Soft enough to melt, solid enough to hold shape. By the 20th century, chocolate became a global obsession from Hershey's in America to Cadbury in Britain and Nestle in Switzerland. Wars, movies, and marketing all made it more than food. It became comfort, love, and celebration in a wrapper. So the next time a piece of chocolate melts on your tongue, remember, it's not just sweetness. It's 3,000 years of invention, culture, and chemistry, crafted to melt perfectly for you. Flashback facts, where history tastes sweeter.